Eov, Job 42. Then Eov answered at Yahweh and said, I know that you can do everything and that no thought can be withheld from you. Who is he that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore have I uttered that I understood not, things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Here I beseech you, and I will speak. I will demand of you and declare you unto me. I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Wherefore I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. And it was so that after Yahuwah had spoken at these words unto Eov, Yahuwah said to Eliphaz the Temani, My wrath is kindled against you and against your two friends, for ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right, as my servant Eov has. Therefore take unto you now seven bullocks and seven rams, and go to my servant Eov, and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering, and my servant Eov shall pray for you. For him will I accept. Lest I deal with you after your folly, in that ye have not spoken of me, rather of me the thing which is right, like my servant Eov. So Eliphaz the Tamani, and Bildad the Shuchi, and Sophar the Naamati, went and did according as Yahuwah commanded them. Yahuwah also accepted Eth Eov. And Yahuwah turned Eth the captivity of Eov when he prayed for his friends. Also Yahuwah gave Eth Eov twice as much as he had before. Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters, and all that they had been, rather, and all they that had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that Yahuwah had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one an earring of gold. So Yahuwah blessed at the latter end of Eov more than his beginning, for he had fourteen thousand sheep and six thousand camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she-asses. He had also seven sons and three daughters. And he called the name of the first Yemiah, rather Yemi Ma, and the name of the second, Ketisha Ya, rather Ketsiya A, and the name of the third, Karin Hapuk. And in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Eov, and their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. After this lived Eov a hundred and forty years, and saw Eth his sons, and Eth his sons' sons, even four generations. So Eov died, being old and full of days,